Hello and welcome. This is Nick, a.k.a. the Nocturnal Rambler, playing Elix 2. So this is the first episode of what I'm intending to be a full playthrough. However, all future episodes will be unlisted so that I don't clutter my channel up with hundreds of Let's Play videos. So if you want to watch the full playthrough, then just be aware that you'll only be able to view the future episodes in playlist format, which I'll have links below in the description and a pinned comment in the end screen and maybe even one of those uh, little side cards up here. So it should be pretty easy to find. Uh, but otherwise, it is Tuesday, March 1st, and Elix 2 has just launched. I don't know, seven or eight hours ago, I guess. And I am playing it for the very first time. I have not had any kind of privileged early access to the game. I haven't looked at any reviews or any of these preliminary uh, day one videos that people are putting out. Um, so I know very little about what's going on with Elix 2 other than what I've already covered in my uh, trailer reactions video. Which, that was like based on material that came out six months ago. So, I'm basically jumping into this completely fresh. Just trying to you know, get a feel for the game. There may or may not be a lot of uh, experimentation going on because the game's brand new and there's a lot of systems to test and things to figure out. I don't really have any specific plans for like factions I want to join, so I'm just going to kind of play the game and see what I like, what interests me, and so on. Um, I'm hoping that the game is going to be okay technical, in terms of technical performance. It's being, being that it's day one, there's sometimes issues with these games on launch day where you have crashes or bugs and things that get patched a little bit later. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case and that everything will run pretty smoothly. I think there may have already been a day one patch out, so we'll see. Everything ran okay when I was testing it. But I'm just going to jump into it now here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start on ultra difficulty because that's how I am. I think this is just going to queue up the uh, starting cutscenes, so... Uh, on that note, I'll shut up and just uh, let some of these cutscenes play. Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Albs is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Albs became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Albs Ice Palace. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times, or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Albs, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. Even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid before its defeat, I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now.
damn it. I better get out of here before these things make short work of me. New mission, nothing to lose. Alright, so wasn't it night, like at the end of that sequence, and now it's... I guess it's m maybe dawn, like it was... the sun was rising? But, um... You know, so far this looks exactly like what we saw in the previews. Um, but first things first, in every video game, turn around and see what's behind me. Shit. What? This damn tower landed right on my fucking house. Guess I can forget about my gear. Is... Is this your house? This is all that's left of your house? Or the house was somewhere up on a cliff? Up there, I guess? Alright, well... It's too dangerous here. I better get moving before they spot me. No, son, I gotta take my time and loot all this stuff. You understand what game we're in? We are in a Piranha Bytes game. We have to grab everything. Oh, I've just noticed the, um... There's no, they're not doing, like, this click to click and hold to pick up thing. Okay. Click and hold to use. That's exactly <laughs> what it should be. Well, that's good. To create or modify an item, search for it in the list on the left. The detailed view on the right will show you the qualifications and materials you need to create or modify the item. So I can cook some raw meat. Which, by itself, the heal's only five... We get, what, seven times better healing with that. Um, what are my options here? I press, press space to prepare. Okay. I can cook up to three, may as well. I'm not sure if this is going to be like true gothic style where it's just fried meat and that's all it is or if there's going to be more recipes that will call for more uh, types of ingredients to make special foods but uh, we'll see oh I had a, picked up a hollow projector or something what was that other hollow projector definitely worth something to traders I'm not sure I can use it for anything. Sign, quick slot. Okay, this is what I feared. Uh, put it on slot four, I guess. There's no hot bar. I think we're stuck with this quick wheel here. That's kind of disappointing because that's only eight options instead of the ten you can get from a number row. And I really would like for more developers to take some notes from Arcane. In uh, Prey 2017, they had like an infinitely scrolling uh, quick w wheel, whatever you want to call this, where it would basically expand outward and inward, and so you could have like four, five, six rings of options here, and it would just kind of spiral up and down as you went through the list, but I guess we get eight items... And that's it. Also, I'm noticing that I can't... I don't have any control over the camera. I can't uh, zoom out. I am stuck with this camera placement. That's a bummer. Because this FOV is kind of narrow, and I would like to get it a little bit wider. Might have to see if there's a configuration settings somewhere that I can adjust to get the FOV wider. Okay. 
Also, I've got. Where did I get this pipe from? I just. My guy just found a pipe at some point. Draw a weapon. Oh, okay. Okay. Press WASD and control to dodge the attack. Ow. I. Did I press the wrong button? Actions like attacking or evading cost stamina. If you're out of stamina, you can't perform those actions. They're telling me to press control, but you can do a double tap to dodge. Try a... Well, I was going to try a heavy attack. Dodge? What are you doing? Heavy attack. Miss. It's... Oh! It shot some blood at me. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Chili plants. Five chilies. Used ginger. Oh, I don't have a jetpack yet, do I? Okay. seem to be anything up here. Unless I missed something. Okay, maybe I can climb this. Mm, probably not. I'm just going to assume they don't intend for you to be able to grab anything. Yeah, let me look at what this chili pepper is. Warms you from the inside, burns twice. Frost resistance. Hmm. Oh. Ginger flowers infused with elix. Interesting, interesting. Do that quick save before I potentially jump to my death. See if I can get on top of this. Oh, whoa, whoa. what are you doing? Oh no! Okay. Oh, climbed up. Oh, there's stuff down there. I missed all that. Goodness. Jump. Jump. Let's get the hell out of here. What are we getting the hell out of? jump on top of this building. Oh dear. Jump. Jump. Shit! Whoa, oh, gra what are you doing? He started grabbing it, and then he didn't grab it. I hope there wasn't anything up there, because... I'm going to be very frustrated if homeboy fell for no good reason. Small healing potions. Block picks. That looks an awful lot like some kind of medical kit in here. Thimble of Kalan. I was hoping that would be a uh, jewelry that I could equip. Does not seem to be. Oh. Goodness. There's like this n sound of like some kind of monster inhaling or breathing in my ear. Very close to the ear and the headphones. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh gosh. Everything is like just. You grabbed onto it last time, buddy. Whoa, no! Alright. 
There we go. The uh, lesson here is to quick save before this jump. Or I guess it was the next jump that screwed me. Alright, jump! There we go. Oh, fuck. What? What are we screaming about? Hey, hey! Look at that! I'm getting places. Breaking the intended flow of the game. This has gotta be like invisible walls. Yeah. There's a limit to how uh how far they'll let you venture off the intended path, it seems. Kind of had to assume that might be the case. Oh my gosh! What are you doing, Jax? You can't jump a simple gap? You're also taking damage. Oh! What? Hmm. Maybe I can get on top of this thing. Jump from up here. Garlic. So I'm beginning to suspect that there's going to be cooking recipes by virtue of having gotten garlic and chili peppers. Oh dear. Camera! And I'm screwed. Alright game, I would very much like to be able to pull the camera out to see what the hell I'm doing. Like right there, Jack stood up. I could not see the ground around me. When I tried to just turn, like, to walk over here, you know, he did this little semicircle thing where he steps forward slightly and fell off the damn cliff. Okay. What is this? Are these... This looks very much like a... Gothic 1 cover? In some other language... That's definitely Gothic 1, and then... Kind of looks like maybe Dark Souls. Maybe like a European cover? <laughs> okay, so how long has it been? Like hundreds of years? Apparently Gothic and Dark Souls have survived. Those games are good enough to survive the apocalypse. And then we've got... From Apex to Nopex. Charles... Hod? Illustrated by somebody. Oh dear. Oh god! Camp got jacks! That wasn't. I don't even know if that was the camera's fault. I think that one was just this like momentum of his turning radius. Where he turned and went forward. Ah. Right now the movement feels kind of floaty and awkward, and I don't like it. The attack. Did maybe a quarter of his damage. A quarter of his health. I don't know if there's going to be some kind of meta with, like, you know, if there's, like, a more efficient way to deal damage, whether it's just a bunch of fast attacks or heavy attacks in terms of, like, using your stamina efficiently. Oh. I was gonna say maybe the heavy attack was knocking him down, but I knocked him down with just a regular attack, so maybe not. 
healing potions. General remedy. Car is a what well, god. Okay, so a car is a raw material. Maybe for a crafting system? And a stinger can be used to make interesting things. That is that is truly interesting. Cleanses the body of all effects. Permanently increases dexterity. Oh my goodness. This is where we get into Gothic 2 territory where I'm like, is that going to count against my attributes in terms of leveling efficiency? Because it's like Elix 1 and they're going to start costing more as you level up. And if it's, you know, if that counts against your total and then you have to spend more... Uh, attribute points to level it up sooner than if you had held off for later. I don't know that I care to test that. I believe there was another crate of something back here that I missed. Way back here. Maybe it was this. Arrows. So I'm not really sure how other people play these games, but as you can see, like I'm I'm a kleptomaniac. I'm compelled to look everywhere and grab everything. I explore thoroughly looking for hidden secrets. Because in these games, and especially on the hardest difficulty, you kind of need to have as many resources as possible. So this should pay off uh, immediately, and also down the line in the long run. And what I remember from seeing the previews is if I go this way, there's going to be a cutscene that triggers where I run away and then like almost die, so that means I have to explore the exact opposite direction. Old lamp. Dark elix. Old lamp is a raw material, and dark elix gives frost resistance. In fact, mana does that too. But certainly these will be used in some kind of crafting system. Some better use than just frost resistance. I have to assume, at least. Ugh, even more of those beasts, of course. What? We should probably try to sneak by them. Oh, oh. See, I know what he's talking about because I've watched the previews from six months ago, but if you're playing this for the first time and you don't know, you're like, well, what the hell is he talking about? Because there's no beasts anywhere in sight. There's somewhere down there. But even from this vantage point, I don't see him. That's like somebody coded the proximity trigger for that little line of uh, dialogue, just kind of in the wrong spot. You should say that when you get a little bit closer so you actually have a chance to see what the hell he's talking about. Okay. 
think that's about everything. Let me hit that save button. Actually, let me do a manual save. I can save over my test file. Uh, radio power? Hopwar? Quick save. Manual save followed by redundant quick save. Okay, there we go. There's some creatures. Something presumably flew overhead and I could not see it. These the sneak button. So now maybe there will be a tutorial for how to sneak. Oh no, we're just gonna do a cutscene. not jump across. Take it slowly. You haven't recovered from that bite yet. It'll be a while before you get all your strength back. So perhaps you should put off anything too demanding for a few days. New mission infected. Um, okay. uh, just double checking the software here to make sure it's been recording the whole time, and it has. It took me 30 minutes to get to the first uh, dialogue scene with Adam. Okay. Uh, oof, what happened? Oof, what happened? You should know. You were there. The invaders arrived, started taking over the world, transforming it. Transforming? Terraforming, right? That's an alien species? Hmm. A most hostile, most dangerous species. So they're not just in Caracas. Their formers have appeared in every region, threatening life everywhere. It's not clear what they want yet. All they're doing for now is spreading infection, killing and destroying. Not a promising start. Who are you? You can call me Adam. Just think of me as a friend who was in the right place at the right time. That's all you need to know. How convenient. Incognito. Adam is incognito. And of course, if you watched the previews from six months ago, you know who this is already. Something's not right, I guess? Something's not right. I feel... I'm infected? I feel weak. Mm, yes, you were bitten by one of those creatures. Looks like it infected you. Some kind of disease. What? A disease? I'm still not sure how it works, but it's clearly all part of the invader's plan. At the rate they're transforming things, it won't be long before the whole of Magalan is overrun with their plants and animals. Oh, great. You were lucky. It oh, could have been a lot worse. Why does he sound so jaded? If I were you, I'd stay out of their way and not tempt fate. All other instances of direct contact so far have proved fatal. Where's my stuff? 
If you're talking about the belongings you had in that hut, you can forget about them. All I could save is what you have on you. How long have I been out? A few days. You're still badly hurt. I did what I could with your wounds. Days? No. Dex! Come on, I'll meet you there! Be careful! Dex! Frogman. Uh, Damn it! Yeah, that was My awkward. son's out there somewhere. I have to find him. Then I'd say you'd better do that before anything else. New mission in danger. Why are you helping me? These invaders are a threat to us all, and yet no one even seems to have noticed they're here. Everyone's so busy fighting each other, they can't see who the real enemy is. That's where you come in. You might be an outsider to them right now, Jax, but you're strong, smart, capable. You know who I am? I know you did your best to disappear, but not everyone's forgotten you. I need your help to save Magalan, to lead a resistance group. I call it the Sixth Power. A faction separate from all the others, focused on stopping this invasion. I'll show it to you. Meet me in the Bastion north of here. No way. I tried to warn people years ago. No one listened. Now we've got the total annihilation of the planet staring us in the face, and still, all anyone cares about is their own stupid shit. I'm done caring about it. I have my own problems. All right. Then deal with your own problems first. We can talk again later. The World Heart to the North. Is it still there? As far hmm. as I know, yes. The Berserkers are watching over it. Why do you ask? My son's with them. Then you should go. While things are still quiet around here, it won't stay that way for long. You know where to find me. You know, you'd get around a lot faster with a jetpack. I have one left. He has one Take left. It. Like I said, go to the Bastion when you're ready. We have a lot of work to do. I'll be waiting there. It says he has one jetpack left as if he had several just lying around at one point. Oh God. Damn it. I'm really not doing all that great. But I don't trust the old man's judgment. I should look for a healer among the berserkers. Got my jetpack. Press space to activate it. Pay attention to fuel levels. If you run out of fuel, you'll crash. You can continue to upgrade your jetpack over the course of the game. But first, let me do a new manual save. Um. We'll say, uh, well, let's get the right E, post intro. Space use jetpack, okay. read this little magazine thing on top of this chest. It looks like just a dude with maybe a woman or a child on his back. 
no idea what the context is. Chest. Sleeping bag. Well. I think it may be time to take a quick snooze. Assuming that will heal me. Um looks like I still have a long painful road ahead. What is happening? I'm having that same little like white screen flash crunching sound like as time passes. Character stats. I got 100 health. It's funny how, like, this is the stuff that was not present in Elix 1, and instead of just making it part of, like, an actual integrated UI, they said, oh, I'll just put it in and we'll just add a another window. You press a button and we'll just paste that on. That's kind of weird. But, uh... I mean, like, I'm getting... I don't know if I'm getting damaged or what, but... This, they're doing something with this infection. I don't know if there's going to be some kind of uh, penalty if the longer I go before getting a cure or not. What do we got? The lifeblood. 300 health. Oh, it's a stem. Okay. Small gemstone bonus heavy punch. Can be upgraded to a red gemstone. Okay. Press V to take all. So here we go. I have no idea where I am relative to where I used to be. This is the map, so I would assume that I maybe started up here. I think maybe this is the tower where my hut was, and I fell down here, and then uh, maybe explored around here, and then the cutscene happened, and then I wound up here. So heading south will maybe give me a chance to explore this path that I apparently missed. But those uh, purple people eaters might still be there. That isn't enough. I need something to fry. A whole lot of garbage, and apparently none of it is scrap. I found fuel. You can use a jetpack workbench to increase the fuel supply of the jetpack. Bow does 16 damage. Oh, can be upgraded to a lead pipe. I can fix my damaged lead pipe. Somehow. The sign quick slot 2? It's already on 2. Okay. Oh boy. That is sensitive. Okay, there's a setting for that somewhere. Controls. Aim camera speed. Okay, I can only go down so much. I'm about to have to fiddle with my uh, mouse DPI to get this kind of configured where I need it to. Okay. 
Mm. I've got two different mice here, and I'm trying to figure out which one's more comfortable. Grab what? What are you doing? Every now and then, he does this thing where he like grabs a thing, and I don't know if I'm supposed to press and hold space, or just press space, or some other button. Sometimes he grabs ledges, and I'm not totally sure what the controls are to actually hold on to it. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can fly from here over to there. Whoa! Quick save! And... Okay, um... So in Elix 1, you could fly and attack in midair. I can't do that. He's automatically stowing the bow. So now that makes me wonder if there's some kind of... ability I have to unlock to be able to... actually hover in air with a ranged weapon. What is the difference between a ranged weapon skill and projectile master? This seems like it's kind of redundant. Like it's just doing an extra 20 points of damage for primitive ranged weapons? Okay, it's because energy is different from... They call it projectile, I'm going to call it primitive. Shotguns. Okay. Okay. This could be potentially interesting. Harder to be caught by surprise. It's kind of vague, but it could be interesting. Potions are more effective. Seems useful. Good Eater. This was, like, supposedly a great skill in the first game, but I never felt like I needed it. I was always able to heal well enough just by finding beds or using the existing options. Stamina regeneration. That's very important. I need to have 40 constitution and one stamina. Okay, so it is... Okay. Lone Wolf. Health regeneration. 60 constitution. Okay. I need a skill to pick locks. And this one will prevent it from breaking the lock pick. No sub-skill for pickpocketing. Got build weapons, gemstone socket, create ammo, and build grenades. Chemistry gives the ability to create chems and potions. That's going to be important. Hacking. We crack electronic locks. We got mining. Oh, Elix 1 didn't have... No, it did, but it was not a skill. You could mine Elix deposits. This just makes it more efficient. Animal trophies. That was very important. So they want intelligence and dexterity at 15. That's pretty manageable. Personality skills immediately grants additional attribute points. This is a sort of thing that would be potentially useful over the long haul, but it was kind of unnecessary in Elix 1 because you could just make uh, Elix potions to make up for anything 
that you would lose or miss out on by not getting this earlier. Oh, okay. Experienced Hunter. 5% bonus XP for monsters killed. That apply to all enemies? Like if I kill a, a human opponent or an alien? Reading gives additional XP, mission completed missions. Advocate, pay less for your crimes. Smooth talker. Hey, decrease attribute requirements by 20%. That's intriguing, but maybe not useful. Cheap learning. Trainers are cheaper. Oh boy, <laughs> that's going to be potentially very useful. I have no idea like how stiff or uh, penalizing the economy in this game is going to be. So Neelix 1, you needed a lot of money, and the first, I don't know, 8, 10 levels were really hard to do anything, because you just could not afford to buy new weapons or upgrades or even paying skill trainers, so... Okay, so then these are the faction abilities. Fire Fist it branches out into Mana Shield, Mana Unleashed, Mana Aura, and then Flaming Bow. It's different from Fire Fist. One is melee and one is ranged. Loud spells. More cons. Call for blood. You deal damage to yourself. Um. What? <laughs> Surely there's some benefit to that. They don't tell you what it is. Rage. You descend into a violent frenzy. Right of battle. This looks like just a bunch of passive buffs. Frankly, these don't seem all that interesting to me. Law. Oh dear, they've just got chems, the same crap. Oh, that's boring as hell. Yeah, I didn't like the outlaws in the first game because this was. I didn't like having to micromanage all these uh, chems and stims on my hotbar. And this is basically just the same thing. They didn't really do anything exciting with that. And then Cleric's got two skills. What is this? Instead of dying, the last damage is ignored. Unwavering. Is your resistance to reality damage? I don't know what reality damage is. Jetpack, sprint boosters. Fly faster. Maneuvering. Move sideways in midair. Retro rockets. There we go. Floating. Let's you float on the spot and use your weapons at the same time. I need 25 intelligence. A whopping 25. What? This is, takes intelligence? Well, I need not only limited resources, but I need intelligence to increase the fuel. Alright, but see, like, this skill tree is very concerning, because why do the clerics only have two skills? Why do the outlaws not have, like, any of this, any of the usual... Like, crafting weapons from scrap and using scrap to do stuff. I mean, just looking at the skills tab right now, it's like the Berserkers is the only one that's remotely appealing to me. I didn't really look at the Albs. You can store Elix in your body.
So I have to harvest Elix to build up a mana pool that I can spend on abilities. I mean... The, the, the Berserker is the only one that looks intriguing to me. Maybe the Alb with this whole, like, give and take of harvesting Elix. Maybe. The Morcons seems like it's... These are, like, spells? Buffs? You use the Rite of Pain, and then you can just cast buffs? That's kind of boring. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, what was I going to do? I was going to try to fly over there. We'll see if I can. Hey. Alright. General Remedy. I'm not sure if I can get up to this next platform. Hey, oh Shit. dear, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. But half my damage. I'm not gonna heal that. I'm just gonna save scum. Uh, um, then I'm gonna fall. Okay, so I did not press the space bar. I was holding space. W to climb. If I press space again, he goes into jetpack mode. I, I, okay, I'm not sure what causes him to grab the ledge. But I apparently need to not be holding the space bar to climb. If I, if I do, then he just drops. What? What? Climb. Thank you. I have to get on top of the billboard where there is nothing to loot. Whoa! Come on, buddy. I need you to not fall off of this gnarly looking root. Oh dear. I'm just gonna guess that there's nothing up there. That's kind of clunky and awkward to try to traverse. But if I were a designer of these games, I'd be putting something up there just to just to screw with people. Be like, haha, see? Explore everywhere. No, oh, what are you doing? This guy is constantly trying to get me killed. Okay. Well, you know what? I can fly up here at any time. Let me come back down here and see what was going on with all this stuff. Climb, you stupid fool. <laughs> I could have just... Oh, maybe not. I was going to say I could go through the door. On my sight. Refines any processing. I guess I could just walk through the front door. Alright, there's a critter or something around here. There it is. A young critter. Whack. Heavy attack. Bonk. Okay, dodge. Sulfur.
hear something. Thought I heard like a blood fly type of critter. Okay, there's, I guess there's nothing behind the waterfall. Okay, so can the camera, like, center itself? There we go. I'm really not liking the camera right now. The inability to pull the camera back and how it seems to like randomly float off to different sides. I don't like that. And this movement in general feels like kind of weirdly floaty. It's like they did kind of like it's almost like a Witcher 3 type of thing the default Witcher 3 where it's like Geralt had all that momentum so when you would turn he would turn in place and when you would uh, start walking there would be a slight okay so this is where I was something sees me I got 25, 26 arrows you can shoot a tracker young which would seem to make more sense being described as a young tracker but it's got a skull which means that it's going to be way too high a level. Let's just see how much damage I do to a tracker young. I can headshot it I will certainly not be able to kill it with that. Next test is can I fight one at a time with melee? Please draw a weapon. Draw a weapon, thank you. Also, the. Special attack? I missed it. doing, buddy? This guy, he doesn't do what I want him to. He's, he's like, slightly unresponsive. Where's that special attack button? For that matter, where was my stamina bar? like to not fight two at once, so if that other one can stay away, that would be nice. Come at me, bro. Um, that was... I was trying to charge my attack to do a heavy one, and Dak Jax didn't charge it. He just did, like, a little horizontal swipe. Why did he not do what I tried to tell him to do? Is it because I was coming out of a dodge? Oh my god. Hold special attack. I missed it. Damn it. This is. I can't predict when that thing is gonna happen. It's like I knock it down somehow, and then I have a limited window of opportunity to do a. Uh, some kind of like. finisher type move while it's down. That's what it seems to be. What I seem awkwardly reliant on that pop-up message 
coming up for me to be able to do the thing. It's not like Gothic 1, where if the enemy was on the ground, you could do the killing blow just by attacking it. Hold special. There we go. Oh, God. Heal potion. Oh, and I can't dodge. There it is. Hold special. Not sure if I can block this thing's attacks or not. Not quite close enough. I got Crazy thing is like I feel like I can beat this thing. It's supposed to be a really high level enemy. But like I'm doing damage, and if I can just not get hit. Uh no thank you. One at a time, please. Definitely don't want to fight two of them. Draw a weapon. Thank you. Pull camera back. Let me see my surroundings more. Ow. Ow. had my weapon out. It's like sometimes he draws the weapon and sometimes he doesn't. What the hell? I'm off to a good start. I don't like that you can't quick load while you're on the end screen. You have to click out and continue. That's an annoying extra step that doesn't need to be there. Let me click the, uh... Uh, where's my special attack option? I think I did it, but I'm not sure. Ow! Move! Are they still aggroing me? What is happening? Combat music is insane, and I... There we go. There's a thing flying around. I just want to fight... Get to a spot where I can fight them... Not on the edge of a cliff. And where I can... Get them, like, one at a time a little bit more easily. This might be better. Assuming this is another young track. Charging attack. Miss. Hmm. Bonk. Hold special attack. Alright. Hold special. Maybe? Oh god, I don't like this move. Whoa. Oh, oh, why don't you do anything? Yo, he's like flying. If I get hit again, I'm screwed.
Uh, special attack? Maybe? I don't know. I got no stamina. Okay, I'd like to not be stuck in a river. In a creek. Uh, special attack? Nope. Nope! Release attack! Oh, I, oh god. I got stuck doing like a full charge attack. I only wanted to, to do a quick release, and I got stuck in the full animation. Dear lord. Oh, uh, attack. Bonk. Uh, special attack? Maybe? Maybe? I don't like this. Oh, I got me. No, I was doing so well. I don't like the camera. I couldn't tell that he was, like, jumping at me when I turned to run. Special attack. Oh, he dodged. Punch. He's got no stamina. Look at that. I see how... You got no stamina. And then I think Jax missed the special attack? Charge attack. Instant death. Very productive special attack, or heavy attack. What are you doing? I was holding down space and suddenly Jax like started running forward. I was trying to jetpack out of there. Oh no. What are you doing, Jax? What can you, can you climb up? Press W to climb up. Okay. There's so much bizarre stuff going on. Oh, see, he didn't do a counterattack. There's like a s awkward delay sometimes between things happening and not happening. And then sometimes things just don't happen. Oh no! Oh. It takes so long to take a potion. The crazy th thing is, like, I I can win this fight. I feel like I can do it. It's just... Obviously, it's a very high-level enemy, but the controls are not cooperating the way they should be. Like... There's a lot of uh, instances where I'm taking damage or missing opportunities because... The guy's not doing what I want him to, when I want him to. And I don't think I'm mismanaging stamina. Okay, see, I attacked. I pressed the attack button, but because my guy was, like, gliding over a rock surface... He was, like, in a fall action, so I couldn't do an attack, even though it was a microscopic amount of falling. Like, there. You see how he does a little thing right there when he walks off that rock? 
so I can't attack when I'm falling off a two-inch little rock. Hold special, and then he misses. It's not my fault. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna give up at this point. I feel like I can win the fight, but... Obviously you're not supposed to be fighting these things right now. But I'm getting frustrated by... The controls not being as responsive as they should be. And like... The hold, the charge attack is like... Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. God! Oh, why are they so fast? I just want to run in there and see, like, what's in here. Grab Dark Elix. Nope. God. Ah. It's a dead guy. Medium healing. Destruction increased slightly. Out. All right, the time might finally might finally be time for me to move on and do what the game intends for me to do. Assuming there's not other interesting things that I missed over here. Doesn't seem like it. Teddy bear. I'm finding so many healing potions, like there are a lot of healing potions. A surprising amount of healing potions are just lying around here. Now is this any kind of language that I can read? Or is this, like, fictional Magalan? This almost looks like F-R-U something, like... 
I can't read it. Activated a teleporter, you can return at any time. Map on the edge of her. This thing's already dead. Somebody kill it. Oh, there's people over here. There's dead people over here. They've found dead people. Old or Oh, hello, Jax. what? What happened? So glad you're alive. That's not who I was targeting. We feared the worst. What happened here? It caught us completely off guard. During the night watch, they blindsided us. The strange intruders? No, no. The Morcons. See here? They're fallen bloodhounds. The biggest group of them is already moving back up north. Or what? Or the Morcons. I ask who or what the Morcons are. It's strange that the Morcons dared to go so far. Yes, very strange indeed. They usually keep their destructive urges inside their grotto. Something must have roused them. Probably those intruders and their bizarre creatures. Uh, maybe. But I believe they have other motives. They're religious fanatics who worship a violent god. Who can guess what motivates such people? Hmm? I got a little bit of explanation, but not really what I wanted. Can you heal me? Can you heal me? Of course. I can give you a few flasks. But we need the rest for our wounded. That's not what I meant. Ugh. You look like shit, Jax. You're my infection. Ugh, I'm... I'm all right. Just got bitten by one of those damn creatures. Shit. Better get that looked at. Of course. Thanks. Mm. Destruction decreased. Those large purple formers. Ever see them before? Oh, when the outsiders arrived, they spread out down south. We saw a lot of their creatures when we were out hunting. Couldn't always deal with them, though. Had this whole battle of the factions to deal with. Do you have a healer who can look at my bite? The infection? Well, most are dead. But Kaya survived. She's the best mage of all of us. Show her your injuries. Why'd you stay here? I am a warlord of the Berserkers. I have responsibilities. I can't just leave the world hard defenseless after an attack like this. Men trust in my leadership. The world heart is still intact? <sighs> Thank the stars. The Morcons were only out to kill berserkers and take our horde of Alexit. The world heart is unscathed. It continues to deliver mana to the Earth. Nature will soon flourish here in Caracas. Where's Dex? Where's my son? His mother took him with her. Kaya was here? With him? Yes. And she followed the Morcons north. You know she'll never rest until she's defeated them all. But when you meet Kaya, be patient with her. She's taken the losses over the last few days quite hard. She fought the Morcons to the very end. Tried to prevent the worst. Ugh. My head. Damn infection. What is happening? The worst thing about this disease is the feeling like I'm losing control. Yeah, that was happening even before disease. Because the combat controls aren't really fluid or responsive. Or maybe the combat controls are not fluid or responsive because of the disease. <laughs> but I have a feeling that when and if I get this thing cured, I'm still going to be having slightly unresponsive combat controls. Just a hunch. 
But it's like, here's another example of awkward unresponsiveness in the controls. Um, the jetpack is like a press and hold to activate. It's not like in the first game where it was a uh, airborne thing where you would uh, tap once. To, there's a dead guy. Oh god, I'm compelled to explore dead guy. But you would tap once to jump and then immediately tap again to activate jetpack. So effectively, you could just quickly double tap and immediately start flying. I guess you can do that in here. Okay, you can, but the, con the tutorial was making it sound like you had to press and hold, which is what causes this like weird delay where Jax is like ducking slightly before doing it. Mighty healing. A small elix drink. Look at that. Can I have a sandwich? This poor guy. He died out here and he didn't even get to eat his sandwich. How is his how is his sandwich in such good shape? His garlic bread. This guy is rotted into like an em partially emaciated corpse. He's got no right buttock. But his garlic bread is intact. And then there's like the slight delay between re-equipping your weapon after you jetpack. It's just like, mm. It doesn't feel as tight or snappy as I feel like it should be. Simple sword. Maybe that's better than a busted pipe. Can't use it though. Leveled up. Do I have attribute points to spend? Oh, I only have 60. 60 experience. I don't remember- I do not remember these world hearts being this squishy sounding. Like someone stirring macaroni noodles. Really dense pasta. Oh my goodness, I can't see. You are a smith. You've really got to watch your back around here. Caracas is a tough place. Trouble? Obviously. It takes its toll. We can always use more people. But, though we may be few, at least I have materials for weapons so we can fend off external attacks. You have a weapon for me, too? I don't give weapons away for free, if that's what you're asking. But I've got a little forge, and you're welcome to use it if you want. If you don't know how it works, I might be able to teach you something, but I won't do it for free. So you should have a little experience and a couple of shards in your pocket. If you're looking to buy something, I've got a few things lying around, but I need most of what I've got for the boys. I see, like, the dialogue, it seems alright, but there's, like, a slight pause between every single line of dialogue, like, one and a half or two seconds, and it just, it doesn't feel right. Like, just a little too much of a pause to the point that it feels like this awkward start and stop, start and stop during every single conversation. Could you teach me something? What do you want to know? I'm my first trainer. Trainers help you learn skills. You can look at the skill description, find out what qualifications, what it costs, yada yada. As a crafting teacher, I can build weapons. Oh, 
also it's at least it says level zero for all of these not yet learned but then it shows level one as like the skill like there's only one level of build grenades so why would level zero be not yet learned why would it be level zero be learnable at all Shouldn't it be level zero current or unskilled and then level one? Like that doesn't make linguistic sense. But I can learn how to uh, build weapons. I want to buy some stuff. Of course. I'm not sure that I can build anything with what I have. And buy a hat. And a t-shirt. That's a really expensive t-shirt. Can't afford none of this. Buy fuel. Hmm. Let me try learning from him. Let's see if I can see what I can do on this uh, forge next to him. I can pay him a hundred bucks and I can learn to build uh, simple weapons. I may end up save scumming, but we'll see. Use blacksmith. Uh, damaged lead pipe. I can convert into a lead pipe somehow. No, I can't because it needs three damaged lead pipes and I only have Two. It only gives plus one, so that's not really that good. I don't have any other options right now. So, uh, let me not pay for that. It's not going to do me any good right now, and it's better to save those points for something that I might actually be able to use, or that will benefit me more substantially. Anybody mind if I open this chest? Strength modifier. You can equip modifiers and specializations. Is this temporary? What slot does it go into? Here? It's like a ring. It's like a ring or an amulet. Except they gave him goofy sci-fi type technology names. So I, I don't have like a ring slot. I don't know what would go in the left hand. A shield? Or anything else I could put in the left hand? Uh, okay, but well, that gives me plus five strength, which may or may not be giving me plus one melee damage because it's plus five. I don't have any more attribute points to experiment with. I missed some iron ore. Any scrap in here? There's some elix. Oh dear, the camera's spazzing out on me. See, like, the camera is forcibly in the super close zoom-in thing, and I do not like that. Why on earth would they take away your ability to control the camera? That seems like such a simple thing, like... A base necessity, I feel. 
And they're like, nah, we're just gonna forcibly do all the camera movement for you. I think I feel, I feel dizzy and claustrophobic. Well, be careful out there. The days when we could roam freely around Caracas are long gone. Okay. Good to know. You're okay. This is a guy that just says, you're okay, over and over. You're okay. You're okay. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. That was a blood fly. Or some similar analogous creature. A ember fly. Is it gonna shoot fire at me? Oh god. I can't see it! Okay, it does shoot fire. I can not really tell what the sim is doing. Ow. hit really hard. And it was also a pain in the ass to fight because it kept flying up. Cash. Let's see, this is where I sprints all the way back to the bed so I can get free healing instead of using my limited healing potions, even though I have a lot of them. I'm going to need them later, and I'd prefer to have more for later when I'm out exploring and fighting difficult enemies versus when I'm in the starting area fighting starter enemies. Oh, I missed some stuff. Is this a bent pipe? I can upgrade my pipe into a slightly less bad pipe. I now have three bent pipes that I can turn into one pipe, I guess. If I sleep, I have no idea what time it is. So if I sleep until morning, am I going to get the aggravated infection effects again? Interesting. I agree. That is interesting. I did not get infected. Somewhere around here there was like a destruction cracker. Is this it? I think I might be leaning slightly towards creation. If this little white gradient line is supposed to be leaning towards this way and the fact that this is illuminated slightly. I don't know really what that's going to be. And they're replacing the cold... Uh, coldness meter with creation versus destruction. And so far I got a creation thing for being nice. 
in the dialogue, and I got destruction for killing rats. Fight a giant turkey. I want to see Kaya. Let him through. Hi. Hi. Finally, Whoa. the mysterious stranger honors us with his presence. Sorry, I got held up. Oh, well, how can I complain when faced with such a valid reason? All right, I get it. You're angry, but I've spent a few days out cold in some ruins. Is that so? And how did that happen? Maybe you haven't realized, but we have a new enemy. Yeah, I noticed. As if I didn't have enough problems. As you can see, my hands are pretty much full. A mage from Magalan. No, something's wrong. I need your help. You look exhausted. What happened? One of those creatures, one of the invaders, it bit me. The old man says I'm infected, but he didn't know what with. Well, I can probably mix you something once I'm back home in Tavar. We're in the middle of a battle with the Morcons. So I'm afraid you'll just have to hang in there for the moment. Hang in there. Got it. Tell me more about the Morcons. I don't recognize you anymore. You're obsessed with the fight against the Morcons. Did you see what they did at the World Heart? It was a massacre. They practically wiped out all our warriors. We have to strike back before they can reach the grotto. Once they disappear inside, we'll be dealing with more than just their bloodhounds. They'll unleash their destroyers, and who knows what else on us. Um... Okay, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of your Morcon problem. Somehow? And how are you gonna do that? You're sick. I'm going to need your help against these invaders. It's pointless for you to waste your energy on trivial skirmishes. A couple of Morcon bloodhounds won't be able to stop me. Very well. I'll gather my men and prepare for a retreat. Are we going but now? Be careful. Those animals will do anything to get their hands on Alexit. Um, hold, hold, hold on, Kaya. Are, Shit. No, you're supposed to not. What's the use? Okay. <sighs> what? My head. 
good grief. This damn infection. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. What thing is going to happen? Are you going to turn into a thing? Uh, how do you know that? I'd like to look at my quests. Uh, only a dead Morricon. I gotta kill somebody named Dragon and four Bloodhounds. Okay, so did I? She? Did anyone? Did I miss her explaining where they are? There's a grotto somewhere. I think this over here is Tavar, which has been turned into Greenland by the World Hearts. I can't zoom out any for further. Good grief, like... Why can't you zoom out anymore on the map? Like, I feel like I'm in crazy far zoom mode right now. And I'm all the way out. Oh my god. Okay. The dead Morricon, show it on the map, is somewhere north. No, I'm up here. I am here, and they are up here. Somewhere up here, I'm supposed to be finding... Uh... Adam. Uh, incognito? Something like that? So that's... Yeah, up here. So the Morricons are... Along the path to homeboy Adam, roughly. So if I head up that way, I can uh, I can uh, take a slight detour and get my ass kicked by some more cons. We need to talk about this new enemy. We're gonna have a lot to deal with. I know. That's one reason I'm out here. Because of that and all the other threats to our lands. I always expected something like this, just not this soon. Could it be the aware that the hybrid spoke of? It's more than that. I think he might have even called them here somehow. One of the last things the hybrid did was to fire a signal into the sky. It caused a strange celestial phenomenon no one's been able to explain. That isn't a comforting thought. People need to prepare for what's coming. But damn it, I just don't have the time right now. I can't leave until I solve this situation with the Morcons. You're going to take our son on one of your expeditions? He's better off staying with us right now. There have been far too many attacks on the fort lately. He's not safe there anymore. Oh yeah, much safer out here. I don't need a lecture from you. Mister, I like to disappear into my hut when things get difficult. Actually, the hut is gone. Buried under one of those flying fortresses. I'm happy to hear it. I never understood why you chose to hide in there instead of living with us. And this seems like positive, neutral, and negative. Like, this one's going to give me creation, and this one's going to give me destruction. Like, I'm destroying the relationship or something. Well, I don't know if there's any benefit to picking the neutral option. This is kind of what I want to do, because I don't really know what the backstory is. And I'm not really that big a fan of Kaya. But I feel compelled to pick one of these two in order to get points that I assume I'm going to get. For the time being, let me just be nice. I didn't want to burden you with my problems. I respected you too much for that. Don't make me laugh. You felt wounded because the faction leaders wouldn't listen to your warnings of the potential dangers. And instead of accepting that failure and moving on, you curled up into a ball and wasted years of your life. You were a great man once, Jax. Think of all you did. Fighting your own people, storming the Ice Palace, defeating the hybrid. Flashback. Man, 
and kick. Not everyone remembers it that way. Billy Idol I was concert. there, and that is exactly what happened. No matter what people remember, or choose to remember. Well, those potential dangers, as you call them, are right in front of us now. We both saw this coming. Now it's up to us to fight for everyone's survival. I know, just as it ever was. People are too preoccupied with their own lives to worry about the future of humanity. But that doesn't mean you should ignore your own life. If only you had been a real father to Dex, none of this would have happened. Do you think I should have left him on the battlefield at the World Heart then? No, of course not. Anyway, Asker will take good care of him. He would never leave him behind. Unlike you. Where's Dex now? He's nearby. Asker is teaching him a lesson in patience. You would think he would have learned that from us. Oh, very funny. What? Don't you think I know I could have done better too? That this wasteland is no place for him? If you have any better suggestions, let me know. But don't look at me like that. Don't you dare judge me. Dex needs to be somewhere safe. Really? Then why don't you do something about it? It's about time you took care of your own Oh, son. hello. I just hope you know what you're doing. I've been speaking to this old man, Adam. He's been treating my wounds. He said the Bastion in the North should expand, become a major power. Sounds like that would be a safe place. What are you talking about? Adam? An old man? For goodness sakes, Jax, what have they done to you? Are your senses so impaired that you can't see what's in front of you? What's that supposed to mean? There is only one old man in the Bastion who fits your description. And that is Dawkins. Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. So that's the twist number one is apparently the old man is the hybrid. When Elix won, Dawkins um, survived the comet and was using Elix to turn into like superhuman ability type stuff to preserve himself and establish some type of like psychic connection with the alien invaders and now at the start of Elix 2 he's just a guy I was talking to Dawkins I don't believe it how badly did they hurt you Jax for you not to recognize him this is the man who set the Albs against the free people who plunged Magalon into years of war all for the hybrid the miserable bastard who, let's not forget, was inside a mechanical pod until recently. Of course, he's but a shadow of what he was. Inside it a mechanical like pod? He would have forgiven all his crimes against humanity. The killing machine from back then has been destroyed. The shattered husk that survived barely has the strength to tell you what he knows. Dawkins is just an old man now. Without his machine, I don't think he's anything to worry about, to be honest. <sighs> That explains a few things. I should pay him another visit. Yeah, why don't you do that? After all, he only stole a whole year of your life. I've just leveled up. Open your adjutor with tab to distribute attribute points. Find a teacher, learn your points, and learn your skills. Look after Dex, do you oh, hear me? Oh, God. I'll kill you if anything happens to him. I'm sure you will. Okay, so I got, like, there's so many things happening. I'm about a Billy Idol concert. I don't even know how I triggered this. This popped up after the uh, flashback. He's playing a concert in the Caracas Amphitheater. Apparently. Uh, the old man is Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. The man is inside the hybrid's machine. Back during the war against the Albs. A written quest? What is... Is this a written note? 
X looks happy in this picture all. Okay, well, first things first. I got, what, 10 attribute points to spend? 10 AP. So I can equip a slightly better simple sword for the cost of uh, 1 strength and 3 dexterity. Or I can start uh, sending points to learn some other kinds of abilities. Hey, I could, if I do that, I can learn this right now. I just can't afford it. But, uh, like, animal trophies needs... Where is it? Needs intelligence and dexterity. So far I don't know anyone who will teach me this. Where is this survival? Armor, resistal, sixth sense. Displays enemies on the radar. Eh, I don't need that. Sixty constitu oh wait, that's a we gotta learn this first. Lock picking would be good. Uh I don't know anyone who'll teach me that. I don't know, it seems like I need to put a couple points into strength and dexterity just to equip a slightly better weapon. Well, like, two damage isn't really that much. Uh, let me double check. Can't quite get to that. Need 16 strength and three decks. Let me just go ahead and. Uh, confirm. V. Apply. So now I can equip the, this onto. What? Oh god. Uh, F is assigned quick slot. There we go. So now I got a slightly better sword. Means I'll maybe be able to do a little bit better in combat. And then my next level up, or maybe by my next next level up, I will have a trainer somewhere who can teach me how to uh, take animal trophies wherever it was. And I should have enough attribute points to do that. Stand up. And this, of course, is where you have all these obvious weapons that you can't loot. Kind of frustrating. This is where level design needs to be different. Like, either don't put obvious weapons in the environment that you can't pick up, or... You put, like, crappy worthless stuff in there, so that way the player won't feel compelled to take it, or doesn't benefit as much if he does take it. Can I open the safe? Can. Energy drink. And meat. Small elix drink. You know what? I have one or more of those already. Is this going to be kind of deal where I combine these to make a regular elix drink type of situation? Sleep until midday. See what happens. No death. Alright, um, let's see now. There's a shield up here. I bet I can't pick it up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I really would have expected there to be something up there. Oh look, another pipe. It's an enhanced lead pipe. My goodness. I mean, it does the same damage. So far, I'm not convinced that I would have been better off using that versus my sword. The difference being that I would have only needed to put the one point into strength versus the three decks, but since I'm presumably going to want to be getting uh, some dex skills at some point, probably good to just go ahead and start putting some points in anyway. Gold plate. I'm just gonna ignore that. Yep, yeah, you you ignore that. Don't mind me. I'm just taking everything. That's that's what you do in these games. You take everything that isn't nailed down. What's the meaning of this? So it will presumably have some kind of use in the future, whether it be just to sell or crafting or whatever the case may be. Let's chat up. This guy, Finley. Aren't you kind of young for a warrior? Hey, I may be green, but I'm a quick learner. And there ain't no finer teacher than Kaya. Can't argue with you there. I've learned a lot, and that's thanks to her. It's such an honor to serve beside her. This guy's voice does not match his face. She's an incredible woman, don't you think? He looks like... like a early 20s, you know, basically a young adult. He's got this kind of, like, quasi, like, emo punk type hairstyle or whatever, and then he's got the voice of, like, a middle-aged man with a very deep voice. Whoa! What was that? He did a barrel roll. Drab back. Oh, I can't open the cash box. Okay, well, I'm to chat up. And actually, you know what? Let me do a let me do a save. I haven't done a hard save in a while. Um, I don't know where I am exactly, but Kaya Fortress. Drab Drayback. Is everything okay? And then Morcons overran us. I thought we were screwed. You survived. Yeah, by the skin of my sack. I gotta be more careful in the future. Kaya ordered us to drink less. Stay sharp. Mm -hmm. One second of carelessness. Boom! Dead. Good luck. Huh. Thanks. Good talking to you. Now push your luck. I'm going to push my luck and pick up everything. Learning lock picking would be another good option. Oh, I have a modifier. Cut that crap prefer to keep my uh, strength modifier. Cut the crap. Who are you, Siric? What's your job? Kaya's bodyguard. Good job. Bad pay. I see. Neat summary. Beware of the Good to know. Of the, the heat out there is one thing. Work instructions. Seedling only rarely grows into a world heart, so our top priority is to keep the world heart alive at all costs. This will ensure that this uh, count that the countries of Magellan can be terraformed and abandoned, or 
Fallow land can be planted. World heart never be left intended. Tending it as a sole responsibility of cultivators. Drawing mana from the world heart is strictly prohibited. Pro prohibited. If enemy contact occurs, the alarm must be raised immediately, and all warriors must report to the post. Any changes must be reported to the warlords immediately. Even okay. untransformed elix is dangerous. Best to keep away from it. This is Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit. In the orbit. Does uh? Do you have anything else to say? Did I just miss everything? Like to all there we those go. who have seen a mutant and survived, remember what Elix can do. Remember what it can turn us into. Don't let the great danger of the new Elix blind you to the danger of the old. It's better to stick to the reliable advantage of technology. Whether it's a shotgun or a laser weapon, anything is better than the risk of disease. This is Herbert speaking to you from the orbit. Um, should he have like music playing when he's not talking? Oh God. Like this is yet more evidence of the kind of annoying movement is like, there's music. I have this quest for a Billy Idol concert. Is this supposed to be a Billy Idol song? I don't know Billy Idol that well. All I know is Rebel Yell. Maybe he also does Moany Moany? Oh dear, whose child drew this? And who is this supposed to be? Is that Kaya? Uh, getting me nowhere. Watch over the boy, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did Jax fly all the way up here? He, he was like on ground level during that cutscene, and then he flew straight up there. <laughs> yeah, my jetpack does not reach that high. Oh god. <laughs> this is Herbert from the orbit. Alright, well I think I got everything here, so... My objective is roughly north. I think that's the bastion up on top of that hill. But these Morricons that I gotta kill are somewhere... I guess you go, you follow the road up and then it loops around to the right. Oh, but there's a thing up here. A wolf. It's probably gonna kill me. Let's see what happens. Young Prickleback. Old special attack. Nope, I'm just doing a regular attack. Jump. I, I clicked attack. He didn't attack. Is it because I was coming out of the roll? Hold special attack. There we go. Oh god, he didn't attack again. I'm stuck on a rock. Where are you going, Prickleback? Come at me, bro. Roll! That was a skull enemy. I killed that one. 50 XP. Mana potion scrap.
Okay, can I open the medium bag of Alexa? 50 bucks. Okay. Be useful. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could have shot this with an arrow and uh, damaged the guy. Maybe not. I think in Elex 1, you could shoot a bow at these, like, propane tanks and they'd explode. But, obviously, it is not exploding. Actually, don't I have a better bow as well? I do. There we go. Uh, slightly better bow. Meadow herb growing on a cliff. Crystal? What is this? Frost thorn. Maybe used as an ingredient. He's like automatically climbing up stuff that I don't expect or intend him to climb. And then he's like sliding down things unexpectedly and then he's got the slight extra momentum like with turning and starting and stopping then the camera zooms in right up to your back when you stop so you can't see the ground underneath your feet I'm just like everything about the movement is just slightly uncomfortable I don't understand why they did it that way And probably fly up there. You know what? If I can get up there, I can loop around and get on top of this uh, pride rock looking thing. So let me try that. Whoops. There may not be anything up there, but I am compelled to test and explore. Discreet little nook with nothing in it. Oh, look at that. We got a little city. A whole lot of kind of bad looking graphics. Like my settings are at mostly high. I have fog quality is not at ultra. Let me turn that on to ultra. I, I don't know if that made it look any better or not, but I would like my frames to be uh, a little bit better. At least a little bit better. Let's see what depth of field looks like at this distance with it off. Normally I don't like depth of field because I don't like things that intentionally make the graphics look worse. But in this case, it's almost like a way to kind of mask the bad, distant visuals with like a stylistic thing. Oh god, these rock sounds. Because they don't look great normally. But you turn depth of field on and you're like, okay, that's why it doesn't look great. Oh dear. about to be a whole lot of nothing on Pride Rock. I have a feeling. Oh, snap, there was something. But it was a boring-ass, simple sword. I 
have one already. I'm using one, aren't I? Oh. Does it at least sell for anything decent? 18 bucks? Man, why can't I open this pouch? There should be like some money or a note. Oh, God! At least there is something up here, but by golly. A simple sword and a pouch that I can't open is kind of disappointing. I don't think I want to explore any more in this direction. Some rats, I can get destruction by murdering them. Or I can fight a ember fly. And loot a meadow herb. Looks like the dialogue options give you way more creation and destruction than killing rats does. What is that sleeping bag? Strong armor is all well and good. The um, infection. Was certainly. Uh... I don't know what you're referring to, Jax. If they wanted to make this interesting, then they would have this infection cause some kind of cumulative negative effect that you have to. Like, it decreases your maximum health progressively the longer you go before treating it, and then. When you do get it cured, eventually, then you revert back to normal. Like, that would be interesting. That could be like... Like in uh, Dark Souls 2. Like, every time you die, they lower your maximum health slightly until you spend... Uh, I guess it's humanity or whatever. To restore your health back up to max. They could do something like that. So, yeah, the bastion where Dawkins is, is up there. Now there's a thing attacking me. I didn't want to fight you. But I guess I'm going to fight you. The young Prickleback. Roll. Oh god, I got nothing to do with the thing. What are you, Jax? What is going on? Special attack. Thank you. Quick, quick attacks. 
horn. Now to run back to the... <laughs> at, some, at a certain point, I'm going to get far enough away from this bed. Oh, what is that? That's not the fortress. What is up there? But at a certain point, I'm going to be... I'm going to be far enough away from this bed that it's not going to be worth my time to run back here and sleep, but... For now, I'm close enough that I'll just come back and get my free healing. I just remember where that... Here it is. Over here. Is that a chair? Yeah, I don't want to sit on that. Sure. Can't tell if there's like a reward for timed attacks. Like if it uses less stamina or if it attacks faster. It might be, like, a hair faster, but I don't really perceive any differences, significant differences between spamming the attack button and trying to time it right. And also, this whole, like, charge attack system, I, I, at first I thought it was going to be, like, you can release it at any point to do more or less damage depending on how long you charge it, but it's really just a heavy attack. It's just light and heavy attack. That seems to be all it is. Oh, that's my kid! Um... Uh... Oh, okay. I'll do this. I was not expecting to have this conversation. I thought I was going to go f kill some more cons. Dex. Hello, child. I'm going to ignore you and talk to Asgar. Jax, glad you're here. Kaya and the little one were worried. Little one? I, oh, oh, I guess I'm taking the boy to the bastion. How's my son? Doing pretty well, considering recent events. But it's it's too much for a boy his age. He shouldn't even be here. Well, his mother wanted him with her. Ah, these last few days have been something else. Turbulent times we live in. Kaya left you in charge of our child? She did. And I consider it an honor. I know you're both busy. And I see no signs of that changing anytime soon. I'll pick that in a moment. First, I gotta loot every thing. Every single thing. Was chickens destruction increased? Whoa, a little demonic laughter. Give me my raw poultry. Oh, a teleporter.
Ah, jeez, the movement. It cannot crack easy? Oh! Can I break the pick? I thought I needed a skill point to do this. You can pick easy locks. Crack easy lock. Level one, pick- I don't have this. But I did it. Too easy. Was that a tutorial? I didn't think I could do that. Right, child. Actually, wait. Let me fly up on here. There you go. Let go. Let go. Press S. Okay, space. And there we go. Right, offspring. Let us chat. Is it true the Morcons are bad people, Father? Why? Where did you hear that? Why did you say that? Mother says they invaded our camp at the Why did you not say hello? And killed lots of us. It was really horrible. Why are the Morcons doing this? It's hard to explain. I don't get it. Only bad people would do something like that. Wouldn't they? Um... The Morcons are led by their own religion. They believe in darkness and self-destruction. increased? But that doesn't mean they can just kill people like that. No, of course not. It was a small group. I'm sure not all Morcons are like that. Hmm, you mean those weren't real Morcons? They were, but I think they attacked the World Heart because they were bad people, not because they were Morcons. You're right, Father. It's hard to explain. What are you up to? Mother says I have to wait here until she finishes her work. But she's taking so long. Can't we go somewhere else? It's probably for the best. You're not safe out here. Wait here. I'll take care of it. Yeah, wait, wait. That's all I ever do around here. You have to let Asgard know we're leaving, too. Well, we might get worried. What is this music? Is that like Dex's theme song? Cause... That was really weird. I liked the... the... sort of synthy... 16th note... things going on in the background. I can cook a cultivator's loaf. Rat on a stick. All right, Asgore. I'm going to the Bastion. I'm taking the boy to the Bastion. We're gonna go visit Sebastian. Diane, I think it's the best thing for him, given the circumstances. Won't hear me complaining means you're responsible for the boy from here on out. The Bastion is in the north, right? The ruins where that Dawkins fella lives? Mm. Seems like everybody but me knows who the old man is and what he's up to. 
Well, you've clearly been out of town for quite some time. Clearly. And I'll head out to the Bastion right away then. Gotta get the place ready. Okay. I'll see you there. Watch yourself out there. Why don't we go together? Strength in numbers? Alright, child. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. Really? I don't have to wait anymore? I'll take you to the Bastion. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Asker says there's ghosts. Really? That's what he tells you. We'll talk about this later. Okay. I love ghosts. Come on. We've got to go now. Techno synth music. Over synth strings? Or under synth strings? It's like I've got... The synth strings are the environment music. And then the, the techno... Where have you been all this time? Oh, we're talking. I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, come on. I'll understand. I was unconscious, so I couldn't come see you. Well, look at me. Unconscious? Really? What? Well, oh my god. The lights go out and everything? That's right. Wow. Why were you unconscious? There were these, uh... Come on. We gotta keep moving. Something is growling. This music is all over the place. It's like overwhelming with the amount of disparate elements going on with that track. Surely there would be some scrap or something in here. There we go, here's some money. Valuable dollar bills. Why won't you tell me what happened to you? I don't want you to worry. Really? I'm the son of the biggest daredevil in the world, and you don't want to worry me? Yeah, well... The less you know, the less you have to worry about. Come on. Are so many healing potions. Like, how many do I have? Like, this is way more healing potions than I think I've oh, that's mother about ever had in a Piranha Bytes game. Fine. I guess it's better if I tell you myself. Yeah? You see, we're under attack. Is it the Morcons? No, they're these aliens, and they've come to invade our lands. Oh, I know about them. Mother told me, but they're still far away. Now they're here. Not far enough. I had to fight some, and they hurt me. Really? Yeah. They left me behind, but, well, I, I haven't been myself for a few days. Cool. Oh, yeah, real cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, 
Oh, there's a thing. What is it? The blood claw. Oh, you got mm, two shot. Whoop, don't do that. Plant. Nah, I don't care about the plant. Gotta get this boy to the bastion. Which I... I think I'm going the right way. Is that it? Or is that up? What? Where do I go? Mm, mark on map. It's up that away. Okay. But presumably, I can explore over here. Maybe find something. What? Father? What? Why are we talking? <sighs> yeah. These invaders. Why are they here? What do they want? Well, nobody really knows yet. They haven't told us. But, seeing how things are going, we'll find out soon enough. And I don't think we're gonna like it. But you and Mother will look after everyone, won't you? That's why I have to make sure you're safe first. Then we'll have to find out exactly what we're up against. All right, enough questions. We have to keep moving. Yes, Father. Why was that one with like a uh, dialogue screen and not just floating text. Like, but seriously, this music is like overbearingly prominent. It's just like they are pounding it into the sound system right now. I think it's like Dex's music. But now we've got this weird, like, flute thing going on. Potato salad. Crack easy lock. I'm still cracking easy locks. There we go. What do we got? A damaged warhammer. Takes a lot of strength that I don't have, but I got a hat. Take all. Let me put my hat on. Oh dear. I got a hood. I've been thinking. What if the aliens just want to live here in peace with us, and we don't understand them properly? Dax. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, that would be nice to not have an interstellar war on my homeland. There's a critter down there. Critter must die. An annoying critter, and it's got a skull? I'm beginning to question the skull icons. Nope. What? What? Status effects? What happened? Ow! How did that hit me? I swear that hit was nowhere near me. Alright, child, I'm gonna go to sleep. You watch my back. I took my hood off to sleep. I'm not feeling too well, though. For some reason, I don't buy Dawkins' story about the hybrid machines. But, well, 
Who can prove otherwise? Now all of a sudden I can't crack an easy lock. No, just can't do that yet. Why? I've I've been doing it. Did they give me like three no, freebies as like a tutorial to explain this is a thing you can do and this is how you do it? And then they took it away from me? And said, no, you can't do this anymore? I don't understand. on carne. I have a flashlight, I just remembered. Ha ah, ha What a glory, a glorious addition. Sounds like a fire or a jet engine. This building has a second story, but no second story? Here it is. Please walk, thank you. Not much going on in this little villagey looking area. I thought there was going to be more annoying critters. Is it just the one? I had a quest to kill five of them. Here's an annoying critter. Go get it, Dex! Kill it! Missed. Move. 
Oh, God. What are you doing, child? Don't jump in the middle of us. God. I gotta heal. Okay, I was trying to charge a heavy attack. The homeboy didn't do it. again. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me. I don't know what you mean by thing. Like, was there something that I was supposed to have seen or been told about to explain what that thing is? I have no idea what the implication is supposed to be. Like, is he going to turn into a, an, an alien mutant? Did they establish something that I immediately forgot about? Or did they never really explain? Don't remember. Oops. Show dialogue. How long have I been? Oh, God. He's a. This is all talking about decks. This is not at all what I want. Infected? I'm not sure how it works as part of the invader's plan. They, they... They don't know what it is. They, I, J Jax knows something that I don't. I do. All I can deduce. Oh, here. There's a guy. Baldur's Gate. There is so much food. This looks like a Star Trek thing. This, this, uh, it's even kind of vaguely got the Star Trek font. This one right above Jax's head, it looks like a, like an Enterprise type starship. And then there's Wally. And actually, that, that looks like that, like synth wave, 80s synth wave thing that you see everywhere. And then this one here, Daniel. Somebody. Kur. Kur. Kurjoplago Dragus. I feel like that's supposed to be a reference to something. But I don't recognize the artwork. Alright, who are you? Good to see so many people joining the cause. Everyone says this whole thing would fall apart without you. You get by. Yeah, maybe. But it's sure gonna be easier with you. Anyway, welcome to the Bastion. You're boring.
What are we growing here? Grapes? Oh, here's Baldur's Gate, right here. You should have been standing at this archway. Oh, that hello. Was fun. I wish we could spend more time together. Well, you know, I have to... Yeah, I know. You have lots to do. But still, it'd be really great if you came to visit sometime. Stick with Asker. He'll look after you while I'm gone. I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe I can find traces of the spirits Asker was talking about. Yeah, you do that. It's also really weird that they triggered the quest at the gate and not anywhere else. Like, I was already well inside before we say, okay, you're here, go away now, child. Okay, I can steal this stuff. Gardok. Suddenly, I am in an occupied building. Oh, hello. Hey, you asshole! What are you doing rifling through my stuff? I'm just stealing Do everything. Live here? Do I live here? What do you think? No, I just keep all my stuff here just for show. So some idiot passing by can take what he likes. Of course I live here, and you better get the hell out. So scram! Did he wait until after I looted his chest to do that? Does he yell at me? Oh, I guess he's already seen me somehow? Something? I don't know. Well, I'm not done stealing all your stuff. Oh, there's something else here. Come here. Take your bolts. Oh. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm gonna talk to you, apparently, or not. Uh, okay. He doesn't seem that perturbed by me stealing the stuff. He's mildly annoyed. Well, I can't really do anything with him. You could steal that lamp. And I'm going to. You ain't. What is this auspicious looking path? There's a creature. A rock dragonfly. I don't want to fight that. I don't like those ember flies. Oh, I don't want to fight anything. I definitely don't want to fight a three skull jackal. I want to find homeboy Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. Of a chat. I would like for him to explain WTF is going on with the story. There's a thing. Thing? Oh, I thought it was going to be a uh, forge. Some kind of crafting station. Oh dear. God. Climbing up on tables? 
That is crazy. Enhanced lead pipe. What is this? And the bloody knife. Goblin dead man. I have so many healing items and so much food and potions. Who are you? Rolf. Watch your step around here. You'll scare off all the game. Why is no? So there's no game inside the here. That's right. And I've got my eye on you. And I'm going to get back to work now, okay? Is the chicken the game that you're worried about? I don't understand. All these chickens. I don't feel like murdering chickens right now. Apparently I'm going to fight an annoying critter, though. Whoa, wrong button. Draw sword. Where's my stamina bar? Stamina bar? So my stamina bar was just not there for a hot minute. I don't know what that was all about. This area is a lot bigger than it looked when I was coming up the hill. Why is there a cutscene happening? Why can't... Why can't I just explore and go places? You had to give me a cutscene to get me to Dawkins? Hey. Why can't he have just been in the building, and then I walk in the building, and then I talk to him? Good to see you, Jax. That was have strange. Have you thought about what you want to do next? No. I'm still deciding what I'm going to do with you first, Dawkins. Dawkins. Ah. So you know. See, this is what I should be picking, but... There are... Uh, destruction and creation benefits to be had from being nice or being mean. I don't have a gun. I don't want to talk about the past, but I just don't understand what you're doing. Why didn't you just tell me who you were from the start? I thought it might be confusing, and I knew you had some personal business to deal with first. But now that you're done, we can finally start our work. The Skyans have a considerable head start, so we don't have much time. Look who's a what's it now? 
Sky Ants. Did you come up with the name? Whoa. The alien invaders gave the it music to themselves. changed. I was able to intercept some of their transmissions, which is how I know they're getting ready for the next phase of their invasion. You can understand them? It's not difficult. I've spent many lifetimes in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. And the language of science and mathematical algorithms is universal. The Skyans are no exception. Also, he could talk to them when he was the hybrid. How did you escape the hybrid's machine? When you Stop defeated doing that, that soundtrack. hybrid form, the logical part of the machine was destroyed. And that's when Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins started coming back. Eventually, I managed to open the capsule I was stuck in. But it was a few weeks before I could move properly or use my muscles again. Can't say I'm quite my old self yet. But at least I'm free of the machine's destructive thoughts. And that's good enough for now. You have a lot of explaining to do. You sent a signal into space when you were still the hybrid. And then this strange object appears in the sky. Just what the hell did you do? You have to understand, although I still remember much of my time as the hybrid, many of the machine's thoughts and memories were wiped out. Stop it. It appears the hybrid opened a wormhole near Magalan not long before its encounter with you. A what? A wormhole. A phenomenon capable of bridging time and space. And clearly our unwanted visitors used it to get here. Right. And I guess them attacking us now is just pure coincidence. I understand why you're angry. I would be skeptical too, but I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I ask myself these questions every damn day, believe me. But those memories are gone. The hybrid machine is a thing of the past, and there's nothing I can do about it. We have to look forward, try to figure it all out before the sky ends overwhelm us. And to the soundtrack, it's like, it's set to switch tracks as certain topics are brought up, I guess to set the tone, but it's just a hard cut from one track to another. Like, it, there should be some kind of crossfade going on, like a gradual fade in, fade out, not this immediate cut. Why the hell should I get mixed up in any of this? You have no other choice, Jax. You won't be able to get rid of that alien infection without my help. What about Kaya? And besides, how long is it since you had a good dose of Elix or Mana? You don't have enough strength or magic to fight. And the infection is only making it worse. I'm the only one who can save you. I know more about this kind of disease than anyone else. I just pick the creation option, I guess. I guess you're right. We might as well work together. Let me start by explaining exactly what's happening to you. The Skyanids that bit you are highly enhanced with a purple substance not unlike our blue Elix. That's why I've taken to calling it Dark Elix. The whole thing is rather confusing, but... Both our blue elix and this new purple stuff have a few things in common. They both come from a different world. And they can both cause terrible mutations while also unleashing incredible powers. But this dark elix is more like a disease. It's highly infectious, and once it finds a suitable host, it replicates at a rapid rate. All right, if you know so much about these sky ants, Tell me how to stop them. They've come with a huge number of warriors and creatures to take over our planet. Harness it for their own use. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? Their formers are already operational. They're using them to pump Dark Elix into the ground. That makes the areas around these formers extremely dangerous. I wouldn't recommend approaching them without the best equipment possible and a substantial military force. Get to the point. In the end, that's what it boils down to. Military force and equipment. 
We need strong allies who will support our cause. If we are to stand a chance against the overwhelming strength of the Sky Ants, the Sixth Power will have to become the greatest human military force in history. Oh. What? Have I been possessed? Hmm. I see the infection is affecting your speech. Uh, huh? What are you talking about? And your memory, too. Hmm. Interesting. I believe you wanted to say something. That's the best you can come up with? Brute force and military power? That's only the beginning. We have a lot of work ahead of us, Jax. First, the Bastion is going to need improvements if it's going to house a growing army. And we can't lose sight of the movements of enemy troops and their Skyanid creatures. If we see them making any significant advances anywhere, we'll have to intervene immediately. And of course, the first thing we need is a suitable faction we can form an alliance with. Okay. This, uh, the sixth power, I don't know if this is like a, just a straight up main quest thing that you have to do for every playthrough, or if this is like a neutral faction that you create. Let's, uh, let's ask. Why would any faction want to join forces with us? The only way we can stop the Skyans' advance is with an iron will and an army of fearless warriors. But all these factions have been fighting each other as long as they can remember. So the only solution is a new central power. One that has complete autonomy and independence. As soon as the others see that humanity stands a chance against the invaders, they'll join us. It's up to you to recruit them and train them and find your old strength. You're the only one who can pull them out of their apathy and fear. You must prepare them for the coming war. They'll be fighting to stop the total extinction of humanity. Be their hero, be their leader, their last hope of salvation, beast of Zakor. Don't call me that. It's ancient history. Zakor. And it isn't true anymore. And yet, people still talk about your fight with the hybrid, about what you did in the war against the Alves. You might be an outsider to them now, but they'll learn to trust you again. You're a fucking hypocrite, you know that? Like you had nothing to do with the hybrid. Thank you. I'm weak and I'm burnt out. And the machine that controlled me back then doesn't exist anymore. It's your willpower that saved us all from the hybrid. And you still have it, just as strong as it ever was. So go out there, convince them to fight with us against the Skyans, and do it before it's too late. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's say I start looking for an ally to join your sixth power. There are so many feuds. All the factions in Magalon are at each other's throats. But the only way we can hope to defeat the Skyans is by building an army stronger than theirs. So speak to the leaders of each faction. Find out who would make the best and strongest ally. Join them, poach their warriors, or, I don't know, capture their commanding officers. I don't care how you do it. Just do whatever it takes to make the Bastion as powerful as it can be. And get moving. The enemy is practically on our doorstep. About the military forces of the other factions. Kaya, the powerful berserker mage, is gathering her troops in the borderlands of Tavar, ready to protect the land from potential dangers. The berserkers were never particularly adept at foreign policy. Okay. However, we still can't say which faction would be most effective as an ally. We need to get more information about the other factions. Also, they keep saying Tavar. Emphasis on the second syllable, but in the first game, everyone said Tavar. Emphasis on the first syllable. They got Zakor, Zakor. 
Tavar Tavar. The guy in the intro cinematic said Magalan. I think. And then in the first game it was Magalan. None of these pronunciations are consistent. I'm surprised they're saying Kaya correctly and not saying Kaja or something stupid like that. Improvements for the Bastion? What kind of improvements exactly? Well... The first thing we need to do is clear the surrounding area of anything dangerous. Like annoying critters? We can't take the next step with those things hounding us all the time. Is that all? You're the expert in killing things. I'm sure you can handle it. When are you going to do something about my infection? I'm already working on it. The study of Dark Elix is at the top of my agenda. We still have time. I don't believe you're going to mutate into a Skyanid creature anytime soon. And you have a strong will. If Dark Elix works anything like the blue substance we know, you stand a good chance. Don't fuck with me. I don't want this thing to kill me just because you want to play war. Look, it's going to take time. I need peace and quiet to conduct my research. In the meantime, you need to prepare for the coming battles with the Skyans. Uh, I don't want to check progress. Just don't make me wait too long. The future of the world is at stake. Alright, well that was a lot of dialogue, and there's apparently a lot to explore here in the Bastion. I've been streaming for, well not streaming, but I've been recording for about three hours now, so... I think it's about time I wrap up this episode and call it quits here. Let me do a hard save. Um, this is at the Bastion with my caps lock turned on. Alright, so that'll do it for this uh, episode. And again, if you would like to continue watching, um, the next episode will be unlisted, but I'll have it here on an end screen. And be sure to check in the description and pinned comment for the full playlist to see the rest of the episodes if you want to continue watching the rest of the playthrough. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.